Hi, you're very welcome. And in this video, what I'm going to look at is a very common scenario. So here I've got a list of, let's say, codes. Okay, one maybe for January and the other for May. And I just basically need to do a comparison between the two of them. So what I'm going to cover in this video is how you'd use a VLOOKUP to identify what's in one and not in the other. We're then going to look at how you'd add an if error function around this. So that instead of saying, you know, as VLOOKUPs often do, na 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 na, that says no match. And the third bit then is just to, you know, use conditional formatting to highlight those entries. And then we'll just have a look at how you'd filter that by color. So I'm just going to start here first. Formulas. And I'm going to go to lookup and reference and just enter VLOOKUP. Okay. So the thing that's in common is going to be the provider code. And that's the only thing in both of them. So provider code. This has been formatted as a table, which is why it's popping up with the provider code as opposed to A2. Step down to my table array, which is the other data set. And I highlight column A. There's only one column. One column to rule them all. Go zero and then click OK. When I do this, it fills down automatically. Now you can see here straight away that I kind of already have this one NA down here. So what this is basically saying is that I have one that's in May because it's here in the May one, but it can't find a match for it in January. So what we need to do then is, and if I scroll down, you see I have a couple of other NAs then as well. Okay. So what I'm going to do then is I click here at the top and then I basically put the cursor between the equals and the V. I just type in if error, if. And when I do if error, it comes up and I just double click. And when I do this, what I want you to notice here is there's like this kind of if error and value and value if error. I always think it's a bit like a teleprompt. So the value is basically the formula. And if I click over here to the right and right for red, and then I'm open my inverted commas, which is shift and two. And I'm just going to type in no match. Close that and then close my brackets and press enter. And you see there it's actually done this already. Now, I've already done some conditional formatting on it, but if I wanted to do it up here, home, conditional formatting, highlight cells rules. And this time I'm going to go down to equal to, and I'm going to type in no match. And this time I'm just going to format it as green, one of the drop downs here. There you go. See there it's been formatted as green, okay, to this one. And then what I can do is I basically just filter on no match. And that just gives me my straight away. Then I have a list of these are all the ones that are basically in May, but they weren't in January. And then I just need to, let's say, go over to the other side and just repeat that. So I just go up to my formulas, look up in reference, down to be look up. Same thing again, provider code, table array. This time it's going to be the other side, column here. One column, there's only one in it, and false. False or zero, you can use interchangeably. Click OK. Or in my case, not playing ball. And then same thing again, just come up here between the equals and the V. What you're looking for is just that little sort of, just basically put the cursor, slip the cursor between the equals and the V. And when I type in if error, double click. And you just make sure you put the cursor to the right of the red, comma, and then no match again. Close my brackets and press enter. Now again, I'm just going to do my conditional formatting. So I've got this column highlighted, conditional formatting, highlight cells rules equal to no match. And this time I might just format it in red. Click OK. I want to come up here, then I can go filter, no match, and that's it done there. Okay. So this is just kind of a useful little technique just to be able to use filtering and so on. Okay, and I'm going to clear the filter again. Use VLOOKUP just to compare to windows. Okay. There's also an option here as well that I have if you need to view it on multiple windows. So that's just there for you as a tip if you want to just try and say maybe have the you know side by side uh, here instead. Okay. Hope you find it useful. Mind yourself. Take care. Bye.